show any way you want. You can go in the garden. Hey guys, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm just relaxing in my, my bedroom, my bedroom. And today I want to talk about getting your priorities right. Get your priorities right and then life will flow. Hi guys, Archie Luxury. And who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, Asia Pacific. And today, guys, I'm making a very, very serious video. I am wearing my Patek Philippe 5127. This is the Calatrava. Guys, I've been skirting this issue. I haven't really wanted to publicize it, but I can no longer hide it. What is going to happen to watch prices now that we have the Corona virus? What is going to be happening? So very quickly if your head has been in the proverbial sand for the last three months coronavirus basically what it, what coronavirus is it was a military created there's a military uh lab in huan huan province huan and basically what happened is there was an earthquake there was a number of chinese fuck-ups and this military created virus escaped now, this military virus there, it's got some very, very powerful, it's a droplet type virus. Uh, and it has the power to have a 14 day incubation, 14 to 30 days, that's correct. And it also has the power of uh, testing negative, testing positive, testing negative, testing positive. It's just an absolute bitch, bitch of a virus. Uh, it was created by the Chinese as germ warfare. This is this is this is the facts. Whether you, uh, I mean, I'll, I will be accused of fake news. Anything the Chinese don't approve of, it's automatically fake news. Fake you news. Well, as Kevin Rudd famously said about these rat fuckers, they are dishonest. Very dishonest little fuckers. Uh, and 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 basically, they were playing. It's like the the Irani or uh, you know or the Palestinian guy who was making a, a bomb and a suicide vest and the fucking thing explodes. You know this is the danger. You play with this dangerous shit, and the consequences can be catastrophic, to say the least. So uh, I think it's about time now that I actually talk about what are the effects of coronavirus on the wristwatch world. And that is a very interesting thing. I have consulted with multiple, multiple uh, collectors, dealers, and people in the know, not to mention Honkinese. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is this, this coronavirus... The Chinese, they're as dishonest as they come. You saw the video. They made a hospital in a week. Um, what they didn't quite tell you is that hospital they created, there are no drugs inside the hospital. There is no form of medication available. It's really what you'd call a morgue. It's a giant morgue for the living dead. If you don't have coronavirus before you went there, you definitely will have coronavirus because there's no isolation. It's all, oh, the air, it's droplet. They've already, China has already confirmed it's a droplet virus. So guess what, fuckers? Uh, once you go in, you don't come out. So, okay, so, so let's have a talk about this. What is the situation in Huan? What is going to happen to the world? Well, I can tell you this now. The whole Rolex market is because of the Chinese. So 
in the Asia Pacific region, I tell you what, I have actually had a good fan of the channel. He went down to Gold Coast, uh, the Goldie. He went down to Langford's, which was a Rolex dealer at the Gold Coast at Pacific Fair. And for the very first time, steel date just were in the window. That's correct. Steel date just. Uh, they weren't the blue dial. They were just the, the less desirable dial configurations. But stock is starting to flow. Uh, so I would dare say that in the back room, they've possibly got explorers. Uh, they've possibly got some subbies. Now, the thing is, of course, they're not going to sell you a sub. They're not desperate to sell the sub. No, what they want to do is they want to package it. <coughs> Meaning, excuse that cough, it's coronavirus cough. No, no, not quite. Uh, so, meaning what they basically want to do is they want to, uh, you got to buy some expensive shit to get the good stuff. That's the old, you know, eh, you know how these Rolex dealers behave. So, stock is certainly freeing up. Now, the, the reason why it's freeing up. Well, in Australia, we've banned Chinese group tours and Chinese. Anyone from China is banned from coming into Australia. That's right. They're banned. It's a week-by-week -week situation. Um, now, what's going to happen is it's simple. You will find some stock increasing throughout dealers in the Asia-Pacific region. There is no going to be... There's not going to be huge discounts. You're not going to pick one up for 20% of retail. I'm sorry, that, that, that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. Uh, the next thing is, so basically, stock will become more available, but the dealers, this Ponzi scheme, they know it's a rigged market. They know if they put Pepsis and, and subs in the window, they know the whole market, will the prices will come down. So... They're not going to do that. It's in their interest to trickle out the hard. They may put one sports up there occasionally. <clears throat> and as I say, they will package it. So there's not the ADs aren't really going to have uh, pieces available. Now, coming from Hong Kong, my man in Hong Kong, he has confirmed that uh, the market is very, very tough. Some restaurants in Hong Kong, there's a famous um, hotel Holiday Inn in, in Nathan Road. Uh, the restaurant is 92% down, 92% down. You will have massive business closures in Hong Kong. People who have been there for 20, 30, 40 years may close the doors. Uh, it's going to be devastating. So does that mean Rolexes will fall? Now, yes and no. The problem is, with the hot sports models, guess what? If they're going to go bankrupt, if they're closing the doors, they're putting the watches into a... Um, they're putting them into a little safety, safety box, and they're fucking off! They're not going to hang around, Charlie. You, you understand this, see? One of the beautiful things about luxury wristwatches is highly transportable. So what they will do is they will pack their boxes, boom, 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 put these into a briefcase, and guess what? They will get the fuck out of town. So you will see watch dealers going bankrupt in Hong Kong. Yes, you will. However, their stock, one of the beautiful things of rich watch, wrist, 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 wrist watches is totally transportable. Tr totally transportable. So, <clears throat> to give you an example, say that the Rolex, what's the hottest Rolex now? Say the Panda Daytona. Panda Daytona. Everyone wants a Panda. They want a Panda. So what's, the problem is, the prices are ridiculous in Hong Kong. Okay, pre-coronavirus, you you're going to be paying 30,000 US dollars for one. Well, the price may come down. For a quick sale, he may sell it for twenty-five thousand U.S. dollars. It's still high. It's still very high. Uh, and basically, if you don't buy it, he's going to pack it up and fuck off. He's going to fuck off. That's what he's going to do. He knows they are very valuable stock. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, 
Um, I got to tell you something seriously. Unfortunately, unfortunately, these watches are not going to be coming flooding the market and there's not going to be a price collapse. Unfortunately, they're not going to go to retail prices. A panda is not going to fall to retail. It may, if you were in Hong Kong, which is a fucking dangerous thing to do at the moment, I wouldn't be heading there. Uh, it's, say you were in Hong Kong, you may be able to get one 20% less than their normal price. But they were over, over, over inflated. They were the, one of the most expensive markets in the world. So... I'm sorry to say there, once you factor in air ticket and your serious health risks you're taking going to Hong Kong, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all, okay? Not worth it at all. Okay, so 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 what else is happening, okay? Another thing I've been told, guess what? In Huan itself there, there are corrupt officials. Yes, you want to get your family and yourself out. The current price to fuck out of... Because what they've done is they've got a, a they've locked off the whole city, Huan province. You want to get out? They this is this is please guys, this is not fake news. This is real, and I got to change a few few names here. Uh, Mr. Kruan told me that the going price to get out for one male, a healthy male with no temperature. Hulk, you need a Hulk, a Pepsi. Or a Batman or Batgirl. That's what you need to give. If you wanted to get a family out, uh, a wife, a man and a child, three-piece combo meal deal, a panda. You need to give a Daytona, a Rolex Daytona panda. That's correct. And what the Chinese officials will do is they will stamp your papers that you were never in Huan uh, in the exclusion period. So uh, it is possible to get out with Rolex. I've asked the question, me being such a huge Patek fan, I asked the question, how about Patek's? Will Patek's get you out? Uh, he hadn't heard. Although, although a very wealthy Chinese industrialist had a couple of concubines, uh, a wife, two children, uh, and an S-Class Mercedes-Benz, they were able to go through with a 5711 Nautilus. So that's the only recorded incident. 5711 will get a family, concubines, Mercedes S-Class out of the province. And I believe that in chain, that included new registration plates, non-Huan registration plates for the Mercedes. So that's that's it there. What's going to happen? Well, <clears throat> the problem is this. People in Hong Kong, in Huan, and also all in the Asia-Pacific region, they're putting their money into watches. If anything, other things are getting cheaper so people can buy watches so they can fuck off. That's what's happening. So, <clears throat> watches are really becoming the, the de facto currency for the rich, okay? Watches are becoming the de facto currency, <coughs> which means they really, <clears throat> they really will not allow, they will not allow, they will not allow, um, they will not allow, um, the, the prices aren't going to fall. They're not going to allow the whole collapse of the market. They are desperate. So, I honestly, seriously, what would I do if you're after some bargains? Everyone's after bargains. We all want bargains. We all want bargains. My best advice to you, sit tight, hang tight, and wait for the prices to flow. I think what will happen is, is that uh, you will find an easing of supply in the North American market. But because these customers have been teased, they've been prick-teased, for so long, as soon as a Pepsi or a GMT, any sports desired watch comes in the shop, it'll be sold. It'll be sold. And I think they will do a lot of packaging. So you won't be able to just buy it. You've got to buy some other garbage to get the packaging. Okay? That's the honest truth. You've got to get the other things to get the packaging. So 
my honest advice is um, I I don't think prices are going to collapse. <clears throat> I, I, it's very sad. I was hoping they would. <clears throat> what would I like to happen? Well, I think China needs a boot up its ass. They are arrogant fucks. Arrogant fucks. That's what the Chinese... They are arrogant fucks. Fuckers, they're very arrogant. It's about time they got kicked in the ass. Uh, it couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of assholes. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch of assholes. Uh, unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of people will die. <clears throat> this is this is this is the honest fact. So, although I'm happy for China to get a boot up the ass, it's 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 sad that hundreds of thousands of people will die, and China themselves, there they control the the free press. Anyone who criticizes China, uh, it's fake news. And um, many doctors have have gone missing. They don't want the truth to get out there. This is a Chinese military created virus. Okay, this is the facts. Okay, these are the facts. Please, I'll put a few links. Uh, here you can read up on it yourself there, but will prices collapse? No, no, I don't I, I think they they may become there may be a better flow But I I would say Within the next six months uh, Prices may fall on the very the very very high-end the Hulk the Batman The pandas you may have a 20% price fall now. That's not 20% off retail 20% off second-hand prices. Interestingly enough, the Patek market, uh, Nautilus and Aquanaut, Steel Sports, Steel Sports, Steel Sports, you're already starting to see that bubble is bursting. And, uh, I mean, come on, guys. Who's got $100,000 to buy a 5711? It is absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. The interesting thing is, other paddocks are being pushed up. Simple Calatravas, unfortunately, they're being pushed up with this game, this game that's happening there. So my advice is, buy what you love. <clears throat> if you get your, get a chance to get uh, a watch that you want, don't hold out. Just grab it. Grab the watches you love, because the bigger threat is this pandemic may be a massive loss of life. And if you're going to die from coronavirus, I want to have a fucking Patek on my wrist. Okay? I want a Patek Philippe on my wrist. If I'm going to die from coronavirus, I want a Grand Classique from Patek Philippe on my wrist. That's what I want. I want that on my wrist. There, I don't want to die with a Squale. I don't want to die with some fucking piece of garbage, horological shitters. I don't want that. I want to. Die. If I'm going to die, this this is honestly the truth. I think this will change the world. <clears throat> 2020. I thought 2020 would be a great start to the new decade. It's become a disaster. I tell you what. There's going to be massive change. Japan will cancel the Olympics. You watch, give it two to three weeks time, Japan will cancel the Olympics. Um, this, this pandemic, you will never see anything like this. Uh, in, 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 this is like the Black Death. It will change the face of the earth. Uh, I mean, I'm happy for the Chinese to get a boot up the ass. Yes, I'm very happy. The sad thing is, hundreds of thousands of people need to die, which... I mean, that's just, just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, will Rolexes, the sad thing is, um, people will die and Rolex prices won't necessarily collapse. People will be on their deathbed. They'll be hoarding their Rolex, hoarding their Rolex. So uh, it's surgical steel. You can clean it off. It'll be, it'll be safe. It's all safe. Um, so, guys, my best advice Stay away, stay away from China, Hong Kong, Asia. Stay out of Asia if you can, if you can avoid it for the next couple of months. Keep drinking vitamin C. Keep your vitamin, your anti, your uh, antioxidants. Keep your your 
your virus fighting, keep your vitamin C levels up. <coughs> don't run down. Don't run down. Keep happy and watches will flow through. If you see a watch you want, don't look at investing. If it makes you happy, grab it. Because if you were in a morgue, what would you like on your wrist? In my case, I want a grand classic from Patek Philippe. I want, I, I think, I think the uh, 5127. I've also got a combat strap coming in next week. I can't wait for my combat strap. The combat strap, I could fit to my 5196 or the 5296 automatic white gold. So... I'm very looking forward to wearing combat strap. That's correct, combat strap. Guys, tell me what you think the coronavirus is going to do. Tell me what you think. I think, realistically, it's a disaster. But it's like so many disasters. I don't think Rolex prices will necessarily crash. I'm sorry. Rolex is becoming the de facto currency. So uh, that's how it is, guys. And if you were in Who Won, if you had good Rolexes, you could bribe your way out. Get out of the danger, the death zone. Get out of the death zone. So uh, there you go, guys. I'm Paul Pluter. Uh, and, and this virus will end. Don't forget, if Who Won can't find a, uh, a cure for it, they will just nuke the city. Honestly, the Chinese, they, 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 they are relentless little fuckers. They will nuke Who Won. That's what will happen if they can't get a, a cure for this dreaded this, this dreaded virus, <laughs> droplet virus. Guys, if you're in medical, um, medical pharmaceutical industry, get out of there, man. It's dangerous. Don't fuck with this stuff. You fuck with this stuff here, dangerous shit happens, man. It's like the guy making landmines and it's accidentally gone off. He's dead. Fuck. That's what, that's the kind of shit that happens. And, um, it's very sad. Guys, I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and put some nasty comments down below. I want to promote KK Design, which is a San Diego-based interior designer who specializes in full-service residential and boutique-style commercial spaces from start to finish. Reach her and check out her work at www dot kate k dot design kate k all the way i want to introduce a new company this is fame city property solutions that's correct they're located in northeast ohio and fame city property solutions replaces non-efficient lights with energy saving led lighting now i gotta tell you the guys at fame city Fame City, they will install energy-saving LED lights at office buildings, commercial warehouses, home improvement stores, grocery stores, schools, parking lots, and other residential homes. Now, you can email these guys at famecitypropertysolutions at gmail.com. That's all one word there, famecitypropertysolutions at gmail.com. Yeah.